What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I'm bringing you another video and this is a tutorial on how to set up Link for your JTank or RGH. Now Link is basically a way to play with JTank users on your JTAG via System Link, so only games with System Link and you can basically add as a friend, kick them from your game, make your own rooms and stuff like that. It's very, very cool and not a lot of people know about this but I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to use it. So the first thing you're going to want to do is launch Freestyle Dash if you don't have it already it is in the description below make sure you download the latest version and if you go to credits on your freestyle dash in the dash version as you can see it's 3.0b rev 775 make sure it's that version otherwise this will not work you have to be updated on freestyle dash otherwise it will not connect to the games and i had trouble with this for a friend of mine and he couldn't basically play on link because of this issue so once you have freestyle dash up and running and you are on the latest version you're going to want to go into the settings tab go down to plugin settings go over to f3 plugin and you'll see link settings now by default the data port and the broadcast port will be the same on screen i advise leaving it as that as i've had issues in the past by changing this port but if this port does not work when you port forward it which i'll be showing you soon then be sure to change it by clicking a to change it like so so all you want to do here is make sure you tick all of the boxes, enable link, enable UPMP, enable RSS feed and enable controller combo. Once you've done that, you're just going to hit the button that says test and in here you will see if you failed or passed. Now, as you can see on screen, I've passed in everything and that's because I already have it set up and I'm going to show you step by step on how to pass on basically every method here. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing we're going to want to do is launch dash launch. I recommend being on the latest version which you can find in the description below once you are in dash launch we're going to want to go into network and enable ping patch once you've enabled it go down to dev link and make sure that this says disabled not enabled but disabled once you've done those two steps press rb go down to hdd press x a and then b okay guys so the next step we're going to want to do is go over to your computer open up command prompt and type in ip config once you've done that, you'll be listed with lots of network adapters. Scroll up until you see your default gateway address, which for me is 192.168.0.1. Yours may be different, but just find the default gateway address for your Wi-Fi connection adapter. Once you've found your address, you just want to type it into your web browser and you'll be prompted with a router page. Yours may look different. Now this is because I'm with Virgin Media, which is in the United Kingdom and United Kingdom only. You could be in America, Australia, Brazil, or any other country, and this can be completely different. I'm using what's called a Superhub 2. That is my router, but you could be using a Netgear router or a BT Home Hub router. It all depends this is pretty much the same all you want to do is log in with your username and password if you don't have the username and password to your router you can find it on the back of your router or google some suggestions by typing in your router model and you should have some default results like admin and password once you're logged into your router you're going to want to go over to the advanced settings tab and look for something that's called port forwarding now yours might be called port forwarding or port triggering or something like that it will basically be called the same thing so in here we're going to type in the start port as 301 and the second port as 3072 as that's the ports that are enabled if you've changed this in freestyle dash make sure that you change these ports to whatever you have inside of freestyle dash i'm going to name it link for the ip address you're going to want to make sure that if you're using wireless you copy the ip address down in the bottom left hand corner of freestyle dash or if you're using wired to your computer then make sure you go into command prompt and look for your ipv4 address which for mine is 0.4 so in the ip address this will be 192.168.0.4 so mine is 15, I'm going to hit add rule and hit apply. Once you've done that, the last thing you're going to want to do is head over to Xbox Unity, which is in the description below, click on register. 
type in your name, your username. Now you can't change your username, so make sure that you choose something wisely. An email address that you have access to as you'll be activating it via your email address and obviously a password of your choice. Hit send. It will then come up in red saying added user. Head over to the email address that you've used and simply click on the activation link like so. Once you've done that, you can now see a message that says XX Solutions successfully activated with an ID number. You can now log in and use the site normally. So if you hit the home page, you can now go up here and log into your account. Once you've logged in, you can access the settings, your link, friends list, log out, upload a title update, add room, add title or read the log. But we don't need any of that right now as we're just going to be setting up link on the console. Okay, so back to the console, we're going to be linking the account onto our console now. So to do that, go into the settings tab, go into general settings, then jqe360.com. Now, it used to be called jqe360.com, that's why it says that, but it's now switched over to Xbox Unity, so don't worry about that. Simply type in the username and password that you created on xboxunity.net into the boxes like so. Once you filled that in, hit the button that says link console to JQE360 and you'll see a little message that pops up saying successfully configured connection to server. We can now go back into plugin settings, into F3 plugin and now test the link settings page. If you are successful you'll see that everything passes including the ports that we forwarded and our JQE360 account. If you do have any issues please feel free to comment below and make sure that you contact me on Skype as I can help you directly but if you have UPMP problems you can go back and under tick that and then retest as that might be causing the issues if not then enable UPMP on your router most routers will have that option but other than that you can contact me directly via the comments below or Skype as I just said so now that we have everything passed we can now go back to our games inside freestyle dash and launch a game that has system link. So I know for sure that Black Ops 2 has system link. So all you want to do is press A on it, press Y, go to manage title updates and make sure you have the latest title update selected. And if you have other title updates that are older, make sure that the Xbox icon on the left is not lit up green and is gray like so. And make sure that the latest title update that you're going to be using on link is lit up green like that. Once done that, go back, go back and hit play game. Now just to remind you guys, when you do launch a game of your choice, make sure that you are loading it through Freestyle Dash and not Neighborhood or XX Menu as this will not work. You can use the file manager in Freestyle Dash or the game covers section also in Freestyle Dash. So once we're at the multiplayer screen, we just want to sign into a profile any profile of your choice it doesn't matter whether it's xbox live or offline i'm just going to be using an offline profile as it's quicker now here you'll see a button that says system link simply click on it and you'll be prompted with a dialog box like so so as you can see there is 21 users in this room 13 in this one 9 in this one and 7 in this one so there is a total of 60 players right now playing link on just black ops 2 on title update 18 so you can see a lot of information it's pretty self-explanatory we have the different rooms we have the players list that are currently playing black ops 2 right now you can simply click on someone set leader add them as a friend block them kick them or even report them obviously by setting them a leader you would have to be the owner of the actual room we go into settings you see your xbox ip your mac address and all the information of your network you can also see your username your game attack that you're currently on and your reputation so we can press y by creating a room or press a to join someone's room so we're going to join someone's room for an example the padlocked room are password protected so if you see a room that has a padlock on it like so you can't join them unless you have the password so this one is open i'm going to join it now on the left hand side you'll see a gold xbox controller that means you are currently in the room so if we go into system link join game you'll now see victor hf is on the map hijacked and there is four people playing right now so if we hit a on it we are now online with four other people that own JTAGs on Black Ops 2. Now Black Ops 2 is relatively old, it's not too new, but uh, as you can see here, we are playing. Obviously the connection's quite bad because he's probably quite far away from where I live, but we are playing online with four other people on our JTAGs. This does not require a key vault or stealth, this just requires a successful connection and a JQE360 account. So there's people joining and uh, yeah, this is quite crazy that, you know, it's quite active.
Active and a lot of people do play Link, I think it's really, really good to test, you know, menus out, maybe record some cool videos with other people on Link and different things like that. So comment, rate, subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.